Hey there everybody, Red Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last episode, we started the secret episode after watching the secret movie, Blind Points. Secret, secret, secret. <laughs> there, there, there are many secrets in this game. And in this episode, we will be playing through the secret mission. So, of course, there will be some combat here. We are seeing our first Heartless, at least that we can fight in this game. So, hey, say, say hello, or, you know, uh, you know re-welcome re the uh, Shadows and Neo Seekers. So, there definitely is a jump in uh, levels that the game kind of expects you to have for this. I am currently 48 for this. It, it is certainly possible to do it at lower, lower levels, but I would definitely recommend being somewhere around here if you don't want everything to just knock you on your butt. <laughs> so while we are exploring uh, the Realm of Darkness here, currently in the middle zone, uh, I could talk o talk about some of the things that I kind of forgot about. Um, oh, Neo Shadow, sorry. <laughs> Neo Seeker. That's a forum! Anyways, um... So the, the things that I forgot about in Blank Points were the portions with, uh, Brag and... Uh, Terra Xehanort. Uh, as well as, you know... Ansem and Ienzo, more more minorly. So, kind of seeing that, oh, hey, he's he's lost his memory, but he he's definitely still Xehanort. All right, let's see. I'd like to try. Let's get into Ghost Drive. I'm going to just use some regular attacks here. So, that, oh, I got I got rhythm mixer. Ah, right. Uh, yeah, I definitely use thunder. So. Rhythm Mixer is what I would get from that. Do I need to get into Ghost Drive again? Hmm. I'll have to see. I think there's going to be more combat here, so... Why not? Oh, there we go. Of course, these are these are no match for, for the power of our... thing. Is this gonna let us? There we go. Yeah, you can jump off of those. They they also push you away from the side. So maybe maybe it's Seeker Mine. I'll, I'll I'll give that a try. Oh, interesting. We got Spellweaver. It might also be like some other things. So we'll see. If I don't figure it out, then we can just go into the menu. Nope, I got Rhythm Mixer from this, so... I think we will have to go into the menu after this. Stats... Uh, that's not it. Oh. Yeah, we'll switch to Magic Pulse 3. None of this is really gonna matter, matter much anyways. Uh, it says Magnet, Thunders, or Reprisals. Hmm, that's a bit tricky. Okay, so Rhythm Mixer is definitely off of mines. So Ghost Drive is Magnet. You know, I probably have a Magnet, it's just a matter of... What could I replace to get it? I suppose I could swap out the Time Splicer. I really like Time Splicer, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Please tell me I have a magnet on this. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay, magnet. Okay, magnet. We're good. It, it, this is fine. Okay. Now what? Uh, oh, I have a thunder stage. Perfect. There you go. Well, I got to use time splicer a little bit at least. All right. So for the middle zone. Where's the other chest? There should be another chest here. Uh, 
All right, give me a second. I'm going to go looking for it. And hopefully I'll find it. If not, then you'll find out when I cut back in. Nope. Okay, well, uh, that didn't take too long. It was maybe about 30 seconds. It was just on the other side, so there you go. So those, those are the two chests that we need for now. Is your Grafiga really new? Huh. I suppose I don't really use the zero gravity commands all that much. Dark balls, right. <laughs> Forgot they were called that. Okay. So I think we are now in the lower zone. Yep. Very, very good names, these. Let's get into that style. And then magnet. Although we did run out of enemies. I can fix that though. All right, this should be ghost drive. Yeah, fun times. They were had by me. We'll just magnet again and then ghost drive some more. <laughs> How do you like that? That was not enough to take all of them out, but... So we should get... Yeah, right. And I think we're out of enemies again, so... Probably gonna run out on this one. All right, in the lower zone, we have four chests. I'm trying to find. So that's one of them. We do have a map, which is good. So will help a little bit. And, but first, it's forced fight time. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Alright. Magnet time. Now, I haven't even talked about, you know, the music. So we've got new field theme and new battle theme. I, I don't remember offhand what the names of the actual tracks are. So that, that might be up to future me to put those on screen for you. Let's do... Hopefully I will get credit for this. We'll find out. Or I could I could do... Well, nope. I got... What? <laughs> I got Rhythm Mixer off that? Interesting. <laughs> I can't say that's what I was expecting to get. This is probably Blackout, yep. I'm going to do a quick check of the treasures. Okay. So yeah, I think we're, we're set for now. We have to go to other areas to find the rest of them. Let's start off with this. We'll just do Spellweaver. Oops. This one, that allows me to just you know, spam a lot of magic. It's fun. Let's check for chests. Aha, there's one over here. Probably also going to be enemies, I have to guess. Nay? Huh. That definitely looks like an area that could have enemies. Even if we did just do a fight. Fire. So one, one one thing that uh, the secret episode does allow me to show off is uh, how how much fun Aqua can be. Uh, I I think she takes a little bit more work. 
uh, you need to have you know the right sets of commands and the right deck composition to truly get the most out of her but once you do she she can deal out some damage and and quickly at that so this right here is the bridge that we created from earlier so we're going to be doing more bridge construction Yes, this secret episode is secretly, you know, a bridge simulator. <laughs> You've been tricked, duped, bamboozled. You thought this was an action RPG. got the other one. I think we took care of the other one. All the enemies are spawning from the other side now, so it should be Good condition here. Let's do I haven't I haven't done blade charge in a while. Let's let's try to get a blade charge. Blade charge. Uh, oh, triple sonic. There we go. We should be able to get it now, assuming we don't run out of enemies before then. Oh, was I? Oh, I was in the lower bar. Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh, we were not done with the other side. I was, I was wrong. <laughs> Oops. Well, this is going to ruin our <laughs> play charge, I think. No, it, it didn't, huh. Yeah, it's not always 100% clear what you're going to get from a given set of commands used to fill the bar. I I think it will take priority over things that you do first. So if you if you do like ice and fire first, you should get blade charge in theory. Of course that is not not guaranteed. I've I've never, you know, taken the time to fully test things know for sure there's not a chest over there I'm not crazy it's also nothing okay there's one over there so that that's good I think we still need one more from this area oh yeah we got the new we got explosion it's a power dropping attack that causes hmm we go for that or I mean it doesn't I guess it's not really gonna matter the, this section isn't too long so we could just use that you know we're not gonna be working towards anything but oh this is new precious synthesis material used in melting it raises the resulting command to the maximum level interesting I don't know if it guarantees what ability you'll get though So it might be like the Chaos Crystal, but it just maxes out the command instantly. Can't say that I've ever used that. <laughs> because at this point... Uh, okay, I don't have all the abilities on this one, but I have all the ones that I really care about. At the very least. Funnily enough, I have zero <laughs> of the yellow abilities, which are the uh, treasure-related ones. Got some regular mooks there. Hmm. Okay, we're not. We're actually at a room transition here. Yeah, there you go. There it is popping up. Uh, I think we're one treasure short. Yeah, we're missing number six. All right, I'm gonna go around and check the area just to make sure there wasn't something off in another area that I missed. And hopefully I'll find it, but if not, then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I found the area. Uh, I can understand why I didn't last time, because there's a tall wall up there. I I'm not sure if you can get up from down there, 
Uh, I guess I'll I'll try it after after we grab the chest here and uh, hop back down. But so let's let's see. Yeah, that is definitely too tall for you to get to um, normally. There might be a way to get up there that unlocks later on. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you can also just jump from a really high point like I did <laughs> in order to get it. So I guess I guess we'll see uh, in the course of our progression if uh, something opens up that allows you to get that in a more conventional manner. It might be one of those kind of dark orbs uh, that we've been using to jump up in other places. One of them might spawn there, but... Oh well, we don't need that now. Or at least, so welcome to the last area, the upper zone. What, what did we get? Trans transcendence. To gravity feel no enemy can escape, then deal damage by sending them hurling in all directions. <sighs> I could show this. This is, this is a thing that I could do. All right, we got Thunder Surge and Magniga. I will put this back in the deck. I'm going to show this off just at, you know, at least once for, for the, the purposes of doing that. So let's wait for everything to recharge because that's how they made the decks work. On the lower, sorry, upper zone. That, that's definitely the zone we're in. Oops. Get me out of battle. Yep, upper zone. So... In here, we need to deal with these dark spots. So let's... So there you go. There's all the things. It takes a while. <laughs> it, it definitely, it definitely did stuff. <laughs> that, that, that was the thing that it did. All right, there you go. You've seen it. Now I'm going to get back to the things that I like a bit more. It, it. Don't, don't get stuck. So we've got two chests here. These should be the last ones that we need. So one of them's over here. Triple Faraga, very nice. Oops, you know what, Magniga. Okay, we got a level. Hey, 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 Dark Balls, could, could you not? That would, that would be nice. I'm not sure if all of these are, strictly speaking, important. Um, i take the opportunity to heal here. Getting kind of low. But I just like to explore the area anyways, so this just kind of comes with the territory. You, you you are not being attracted by my Magniga. That, that's not very nice of you. So here's our last chest. Open up this Mega Elixir. Going to double check. Our, our treasure Mickey is back. So we, we do indeed have all the checks. All the chests. That 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 was a bit of you know, randomizer lingo slipping in there. We we are nearing the end of this. It's not a super long section. There there is a bit of meat to it. Also, uh, if I can get away from them long enough to do this, magnet. <laughs> Is a thing. We we got. I'm pretty sure we got the ghost drive off of that single Magniga, which is just honestly hilarious to me. There there are a lot of shadows and and I think some, yeah some Nia shadows as well in this fight. 
you're not really getting to see how many of them there are because I'm just killing them all super fast. Ma Magnet really just destroys this fight. Just, just, just enjoy the carnage. That, that's what I can tell you. That was pretty fast. So, this is the final save point. So there, there are only two. One at the beginning, one at the end here. So, I, I'm not going to be taking this just because I want to preserve the save file here. So, yeah, we're, we're going to just finish it because, you know, the, the next episode would be kind of short. <laughs> we didn't, so we're going to head into the question mark, question mark, question mark. ourselves a secret boss here. So this is Dark Hide, also referred to some as uh, Red Eyes. You can see why, but Dark Hide is the official name. Um, the track is called Haunter of the Dark. So uh, the boss is not unhittable in this phase right now, but uh, it is definitely very evasive. I mean, you can't lock onto it at all, so it's, it's not possible to deal with, but uh, the boss will rush at you from the shadows here. Um, of course, as long as you're uh, dodge rolling, you should be fine. Once you deal enough damage to it, progress to phase two. Or we can actually see it now. So, you know. It's arguably more dangerous in this phase here. Um, Let's just, you know, attack, ghost drive. Can you tell what's going on? I can't. <laughs> there we go. This health bar is about half gone now. It's, honestly, it's not too bad, you know, as long as you have the tools to deal with it. Um, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of uh, reprisals. So, you know, just, just get hit, you know, and then get ghost drive, like, instantly. <laughs> Once you get its health low enough, I think around two bars, it's going to do uh, the third phase here. So this is where it starts spawning in colored clones of itself. Red, blue, and green, these don't really mean anything in particular, but um, they can do fun things to you. I'm, I'm getting magneted. Could you, you know, calm down for a little bit, please? So, this boss can be overwhelming. Yeah, this this is where, you know, adjust your RGB settings. That that attack is quite dangerous, though. We'll say that. This this is a pretty fun fight. Uh, it, it can be challenging if you're, especially if you're underleveled. Of course, if you, as long as you come in prepared, give yourself options, it, it's not that bad. Could it be? 
So that relatively short video is a fragmentary passage. So yeah, this is like all basically the same, but with some extra stuff. Some content cannot be unlocked unless you have save clear data and system data. Are you sure you don't want to save? Yes, I am sure. So that's it for Birth by Sleep. Except not quite, because as you might have, you know, inferred from that video, uh, Birth by Sleep Volume 2. <laughs> That, that, it's not, you know, Birth by Sleep 2, it's not a full game, but they did make a follow-up to this secret ending, and that is better known by Birth by Sleep Point 2, A Fragmentary Passage, and I will be playing that as part of this LP. It's technically a separate game, but it's really just this second part of this secret episode <laughs> so i will be doing that next time so thank you very much for watching this episode of let's play kingdom hearts birth by sleep final mix i've been redix parasite signing out